Many years ago, an executive at WestJet told me that in the early days of that airline, it didn't matter how many flights were delayed or canceled because the best thing they had going for them when it came to the public was they were not Air Canada. That is what you call a honeymoon period. That is exactly what is happening to Justin Trudeau right now. He can literally do no wrong. He could wake up tomorrow morning, invoke the War Measures Act, go to lunch, get hammered, back the convertible into a lake, and a lot of Canadians would say, yeah, okay, but at least he's not as secretive as Stephen Harper was. And I think a lot of people in the media might report the entire incident as a triumph for multitasking. We are going down a very bad road here. At the risk of coming across as anti-honeymoon, the sooner we all get over this sunny ways business, the better. Sure, we all like sunny ways and sunny days, but in November, the days get pretty short and pretty dark pretty darn fast. And Justin Trudeau has work to do. A lot of work. According to the National Post, the Liberals made 325 promises in the election. That is one heck of a to-do list. And let's face it, honeymoons and to-do lists do not go hand in hand. And we all know the chance of getting anyone to do anything on a to-do list increases dramatically depending on the amount of nagging involved. So for the country's sake, for the prime minister's sake, let's all agree the honeymoon is over. We have moved on to an arranged marriage. Let the nagging begin.